If you have a 3G or a 3GS and you want to unlock it, you can do it if you have 5.1.1 or earlier for the 3GS and 4.2.1 for the 3G. That's the latest OS that the 3G has. And you can upgrade and downgrade the baseband as long as it's the iPad baseband 061500 or any of the earlier ones. And if you have an iPhone 3GS, make sure it's made earlier than week 28 of 2011 because it has to have the older baseband chip. If all those three things are met, then you can proceed with this jailbreak. If you have a 3GS, make sure you don't upgrade to iOS 6. There's no unlock for baseband 3 right now, so if you accidentally upgraded to that, you won't be able to unlock for some time. Right now they're working on a jailbreak, and then they're going to get Ultra Snow working for the old basebands, but just the ones that it's supported right now. So to make sure your phone is made before week 28 of 2011, check the third digit, fourth, and fifth digit. The third digit's the year. If it's a 9, it's 2009. If it's 0, it's 2010. And if the fourth and fifth digit says 42, then it's week 42. So if your phone is made week 28 of 2011 or later, you probably have the new baseband chip, and when you try this iPad baseband update, it's going to brick your phone. So make sure you don't try this procedure if your phone is made week 28 or later. Step 1. Download Red Snow. Make sure you get version 914b2. Step 2. Back up your data, and I suggest using Tiny Umbrella to save your SHSH blobs. I'll leave a link in the description for that. In Step 3, we're going to jailbreak and upgrade to iPad Baseband. So plug the phone in, turn it off, close iTunes, and then run Red Snow as admin, and then click on jailbreak and go into DFU mode. Then go ahead and check Install Cydia and upgrade iPad Baseband. Click Next and just wait for it to upgrade. Step 4. Downgrading to 051304. So with it plugged in, turn it off, click on jailbreak, go into DFU mode, and then just make sure only downgrade from baseband is clicked. Push next and then just wait for it to update. In step 5, all you gotta do is open Cydia, and then click on the repo 666, and then click on Ultra Snow and install it. Now your phone should be unlocked and work with different SIM cards on different carriers. And that's it. Now your phone's jailbroken and unlocked. Now I'm going to go through all the steps and show little videos on what I did. Step 1 and 2, I'll put links in the description for you to click on. In step 3, I'll show you a quick video here. So now I'm going to plug in the iPhone, turn it off, close iTunes, run Red Snow, and then we'll jailbreak it. Make sure you run Red Snow in admin mode. click on jailbreak and now you put it into DFU mode so follow its steps it says push the power button then it says hold down the home button so you hold both buttons and then you let go of the power button but keep holding on to the home button like this just keep holding that home button and when it gets into DFU mode, it will go ahead and start exploiting with Lime Rain. So now it's rebooted. You can install Cydia. And then we're going to upgrade it to the iPad baseband. In my documentations and in other web pages that I found, it says week 28 or earlier. So really, I guess week 27 or earlier of 2011 would be okay. So I'll just go ahead and upgrade my baseband. Next we'll just downgrade the baseband and that'll give you an iPhone 3GS with a 051304 baseband which is easily unlockable and you can use that anywhere in the world. It does everything on the phone now. Now while it's flashing the baseband make sure you don't do anything so make sure you've got a fully charged battery while you're doing this as well. If this fails, that means you've bricked your phone, so it's not worth risking. So here we are. The baseband has been upgraded to 061500. Now all we do is downgrade it. So we'll just turn that off again. Close iTunes if it opened up. And then go back to Red Snow. So now in Red Snow we hit jailbreak, and the phone is off. If you know how to use DFU mode, use it. If you don't, just push next and listen to what it says. So now, once again, we're presented with the options. You've already installed Cydia, and you've already upgraded to the iPad baseband 
061500. Now all you want to do is use its downgrade function. So go ahead and click on downgrade from iPad baseband. This will bring you back down from your 061500 down to 051304, which is an unlockable baseband. That means you can unlock it and go anywhere in the world and use any SIM card you want. So downgrade to that. This is basically the only way I know of that you can downgrade to an older baseband with. You can downgrade to an older baseband using another method, but you need to have an old bootloader to do that. My phone doesn't even have the old bootloader, so I can't go ahead and do that. This is the only way to do it. Here we go. We're going to downgrade, and it's going to process, and the phone's going to blink and start downloading stuff. There we go. So if the progress bar gets stuck under the end, don't worry, it usually just stays there until it's done. But this is basically the best way to downgrade your modem firmware to an unlockable firmware. You can upgrade it to the iPad baseband and then just downgrade it again and you're unlockable all over the world. You can use any SIM card you want anywhere. If you've got a 3G and you want to do this, it works. You just have to use the latest OS that they have, which is 4.2.1 and it works. Fine. And now we've got 051304 in there. So thank you Muscle Nerd once again. This is the holy grail of unlocking 3Gs and 3GSs. Now you load up Cydia and once it's all set up and loaded, just let it do its thing. It should have in there Repo666 Ultra Snow. That will just have one thing in it, Ultra Snow. And that in here will say it can unlock 051304 and the iPad baseband if you want to just stick with that if you don't use GPS but I suggest you just go back to the 051304 because it's uh, pretty godly that you can so go ahead and do that click on install and this will unlock your baseband alright there easy as that it searches for a network and it's connected to Rogers. So there you go. This phone can flip back and forth between TELUS and Rogers now. And I'm pretty sure it can work anywhere in the world that uses GSM cards. So thanks for watching. And I hope I showed you how to downgrade your modem firmware properly and install a unlock for it. So that you can use your 3G and 3GS anywhere in the world.